it's like uh, this is like this is like their basement. I hate analysis. I hate I, I hate that. I hate the idea of undressing myself. You know, it's like making love to a stranger. Worse, worse. In fact. We went, Stephen and I, we went, we both went together to see a counselor and then s different people separately. In fact, it was very, it was humiliating, it was, it was very humiliating for me and I, you know, about my tanning bed, I'm going to my tanning bed appointments, you know, about that. I've told you, Gemma, about my tanning bed appointments. I actually have my own tanning bed, which I hide. Those tanning bed appointments, which I told everyone about, were was actually my appointments to see a therapist. That's what it was for. That's, yeah. And I suppose it's the same thing for Stephen, but, you know, I always find that men seem to be able to gloss over things very easily. You know, a shrink, a screw, a drink could all fall under meeting. I had a meeting. I had a meeting. There was a meeting, you know. No, there was no tanning bed appointment. There was a therapist, and you know, every evening when I would when I would have these appointments, I would you know while I was frantically trying to get bronzer, I was you know laying under that lamp. I realized you know that my time under this lamp is is, is giving me more value than that stupid fucking room in Pasadena with the Venetian blinds and the fucking incense and the alarm clock and that voice, that voice. Oh my god, that voice would make me boil boil what was it like it was like it was, uh, it was like a voice for the for, for someone dying like someone for the sick and oh my god he's oh he just wants to oh violence 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 for the for that silence violence for that voice you know i would just walk in and i would cry i would cry and i would sit there and cry for 45 minutes yes the whole 45 minutes i would do that cry 45 minutes and she would just sit there and make these sympathetic noises and sympathetic clucks and then the alarm would go off and then that would be it and then we'd be finished would you be good yeah you'd be very good because you've got the eyes you've got you've got the eyes so what are you what are you doing in here what do you do what are you doing with yourself what are you reading writing what what are you doing i don't i, I don't i'm not understanding um you know i thought of writing to you i thought it'd be quieter <laughs> you know um i had a feeling that the silence was connected to some kind of you know, sensitivity to noise, because I know you're sensitive to noise and music, and, you know, I, lo I love this. You're playing. You know, you know, you know. Um, is it, is it, wh what is it? Uh, um, this is Bach, yeah? You know, I thought, um, I thought, you know, I had, a, you know, my theory, and I thought, I thought, I just thought you just wanted some peace. You know, I, I mean, I, when my mother died, I went to Greece for two weeks. I just lay in the sun and let the sun anesthetize me. You know, I just let it, I just lay in the sun and, you know, let it on the sand and let the sun, you know, press on top of me. You know, this is before the sun, the, the, the tanning, the, the, the tanning bed. And, uh, you know, do you mind if I smoke? I won't. If, oh, thank, thank you. Uh, oh, that's a, uh, it's the ashtray. It's the ashtray from the Greek experience. I, I gave that to you. Oh, Christ. Do you mind if I take a, one of your papers? Thank you. Lovely. Um, beautiful, isn't it? It's beautiful. Yeah. I can say I got something for my mom, can't I? Paid for that vacation, paid for the car, paid for that ashtray. And, uh, you know, I made a list, actually. It was one of the therapy things that I did. My therapist didn't tell me to do this. I did this myself during that period. I wrote a list of all the things I got as a result of my mother's death. What I did with the money. The uh, vacation, the car, the ashtray. Ashtray. The, uh, um, I, I spent most of it on the house, on the bathroom, our bathroom our bathroom and so every time I take a shower every time I take a pee every time I brush my teeth thank you mom and you know I, I I sort of created like an indulgence account so like I got my hair streaked I got a facial got a manicure and, and uh, 
and sock panties. I bought that too. What else? Oh, and, and, the, and the tanning bed. Yeah. Um, actually, that's like the one thing that me and Stephen have that's kept us um, legally as one is, is that we both come from suicide families. Yeah. And, and I didn't know that until, you know, well after we were married, you know. I, I didn't realize until my mother killed herself that his mother did too. And, oh my God, cool, very, very cool. Both very, very cool, his mother, very cool. Um, he found her, oh gosh, me later. He found her in a, she, uh, he went around, no, he went home. His father had been, his, his father had been dead for some time. And anyway, anyway I think he was, I think he was still in school. I don't, I don't know all the details, but he, he went home and he found her and she had a note pinned to her. And the note said, Stephen, take the trash out. That's it. Stephen, take the trash out. Hmm. Which I think, very, very cruel. Like, oh my, harsh, harsh. <sighs> My woman called suicide an act of homicide on the living. Oh, look at that cat. Big cat, little cat. Oh, it's cute. It's a little unnerving, curled up, purring like that. She'll never sit on my lap, will she? I have, a, I have an incapacity. I have an incapacity to love, Gemma. You know, I think that's the, I think, oh, I think, I think that's the, yeah, yeah. You know, my mother was wearing my dress when she killed herself. Did, did you know that? It was a sundress, a summer dress, and it didn't fit. And um, it's very hard to talk yourself out of these things, honestly. Honestly, it, it, it is. And, um, anyway, she, uh, she was a Sylvia Plath, right? <laughs> One year in ten. It, it was. It was. Uh, uh, the limp was actually the, which was, which was, um, the you know, uh, uh, accident. The ho falling off the horse accident limp, or the 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 riding limp, you know, which was actually falling off the building limp, you know. And um. And she, you know, you know what's really sad? Like one thing that was really heartbreaking is that she could have been so beautiful. She could have been so beautiful, and I think I can remember her face. I think, and she, she, um, you know, and and, and she and she she, but I, I, I can't remember her, or oh I, you know, and because her face was just so, and she was twisted, and she kind of had that like, that that hunch, and anyway she. She booked a five-story hotel in La Jolla. That's her favorite. That's her favorite part of the story. I booked a five-story, five-story hotel. Nasty, nasty little, nasty little tale. She would tell that, and um, she, she booked a top room with a balcony, and but there were a lot of other balconies and ledges and things like that. So she wanted to hit the ground, so she had to do like this impossible clamber to get into a spot. And then she couldn't do it. She held on for, she said, for about an hour, and then she let go, and then I, I, she let go, and then well, I think she got tired, honestly. And of course, she hit everything on the way down, everything on the way down. And then well, this is her favorite part of the story: is that she, she, this this boy, she fell in front of the kitchen, and this boy came out. He was part of the kitchen staff, and he came to help her. Very nice uh, gentleman, and he, and he asked her you know, what her name was. And she just, just fallen from a building, broke her legs, broke her, her back, broke her arms, her skull, and she lied. She told them her name was. <laughs> she finally managed to do it, you know, and another week and they would have converted the oven to natural gas and that would have been a whole other fiasco. I'm not sleeping with Rob anymore, Gemma. Like I, 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 I'm, I, we haven't in a long time, actually. 
I don't even know how you would have found out. And, and it, it made something that's not important to me become important. And it, it reads with having a, not having a bra strap on my tan. It's... I, I came to say I'm sorry. And, and don't worry. I'm sorry. What are you thinking? Gemma. 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 What are you thinking? You know, to be absolutely honest, I've wanted to slap your face for the last 10 minutes. 